So today I wanted to tackle a complicated topic of sequences and series, uh, geometric and arithmetic, and have you use mnemonic devices to help you remember the four formulas. We will also talk about the types of questions you may encounter on the ACT that have to do with series and sequences. All right, so here we go. What is a sequence? Sequence is, it's a list of ordered numbers that are separated by comma. One, three, four, seven, five, that's a sequence. When we drop the commas and we replace commas with a plus sign, we get the sum of all of these numbers and that is called a series. So sequence is a list of ordered numbers separated by comma and series is the sum of all the numbers on that list. There are two types of sequences. Sequences could be random, like the example that I gave you earlier, or they could be uh, organized or they could have a pattern. And many of you know that there are two possible patterns, arithmetic and geometric. Excellent. So for arithmetic pattern, in order to get your next number on the list, you need to figure out what is consistently added to each new member. Because arithmetic sequences is where each new member adds a fixed amount. It could be a negative amount, doesn't matter, but it's a fixed amount every time. For geometric sequence, for geometric sequence, in order to get the next number, you need to multiply by a fixed amount. And there are some terms and there are some names that we need to know. So for this one, this is going to be a common difference. Difference. And this is going to be a common ratio. And in order for us to remember this, so for arithmetic, we're going to have a distance. And for geometric, we're going to have a should look like a rabbit. So for geometric, we have a rabbit. So everything that has to do with a rabbit is immediately geometric. And everything that has to do with the devil himself, I'm going to try to do the, in the purple emoji on the phone that represents the devil, is going to do with arithmetic. So distance, because it's a common, a fixed amount is called distance, and it shows up in the formula. So I hope that kind of gives you an understanding of the difference between arithmetic and geometric, and I'm not going to dive any further into that, and I'm just going to make an assumption that you can't figure out whether you're dealing with an arithmetic or a geometric sequence. But as you probably know, there are some formulas that you have to memorize for the ACT, and there are two formulas for the arithmetic sequence, and there are two formulas for the geometric sequence. The formulas look like that. You will be asked to calculate the nth term, let's say the hundredths term in the sequence, and the formula goes like this. It's a1, it's the first term, plus n minus 1 times the distance. That Remember that devil? It's, it's going to be used here. The next formula is sum of all the terms, let's say the sum of the first hundredth terms. It's going to go like this. It's going to be a ratio. It's going to be divided by 2, and on the top you're going to have this times a1 plus a n. I know this, is, this might be complicated, but I promise you we will create a fantastic mnemonic device that will help you remember all of it. Geometric sequence, you will always still be asked to remember to figure out the nth term in the geometric sequence. You're going to use your first term, you're going to multiply it by the rabbit, by the ratio, and it, the ra rabbit of the ratio is going, to be um, it's going to, it's going to be raised into the exponent of n minus 1. And then your sum is going to look like this, 1 minus r, here you're going to have a1 times 1 minus r to the nth power. That's how you're going to find it. This may be a little bit complicated for some of you. That's why I thought about creating a mnemonic device. Mnemonic device is a um, memory tool that I often use for helping us remember vocabulary words, but it can also be used in a very powerful way for math formulas. Here's the deal. Whenever we're creating a mnemonic device for a formula, for a math formula, we first need to identify some patterns. And here's what I noticed. Um, the pattern is that we have this guy twice, 
and then we have this guy in every formula. So we certainly have to un have to come up with a character for these variables, and we also have a lot of mathematical um, operations. We have addition, we have multiplication, we also have parentheses, we have exponents, and we have the ratio. So we need to figure out what these things will be represented in terms of actions, and what all of these terms like an, sn, or a1, or n, or d, or r, what these things will be in terms of objects or characters. And you probably guessed that r is going to be a rabbit. So anything that has a rabbit in it, this is definitely going to be a geometric formula, a geometric sequence, and everything that doesn't have a rabbit in it is going to be arithmetic. So first things first, let's think about an. What can we think of as something that phonetically con converts into an? How about Anne Hathaway? <laughs> Anne Hathaway is an actress. You can look her up. She's, uh, she's really beautiful and really, really talented. So A-N, Anne Hathaway, this is nth term. In order for us to find Anne Hathaway, we're going to have to think about A1. Who do you think could be A1? A sub 1 is a person who won the first prize. They are the first prize winner. In a set of numbers in your sequence, it's going to be the first number, A1. And then we're going to add for addition, I'm proposing that we use the action of dancing. And you can think of a person who is dancing and they're spreading their arms like that. They're, it's a dancing. So we're going to, in order to find Anne Hathaway, we're going to have a first prize winner who's so happy he's dancing. And then he is hugging, because parentheses, they kind of hug, that he's hugging N minus 1. Then we need to come up with something that would stand for N. N is the number of items on the list. So if we're looking for the hundredths term, n will be the hundred. So n is, in my world, in my mnemonic world, is a Nobel Prize winner. So we have the first prize winner who's dancing, and then he's hugging a Nobel Prize winner who is cutting, like with a knife, because subtraction is also one of the mathematical computation, um, mathematical symbols that we have in there. Um, subtraction is cutting, because it kind of does look like a knife. And he's cutting a one, and one in my um, memory palace is a carrot. So a first prize winner is dancing and then he's hugging a Nobel Prize winner who is currently cutting a carrot. And then the Nobel Prize winner, after he's done cutting a carrot, he is kissing because this stands for a kiss. The reason why um, multiplication sign stands for a kiss is because I'm older than you guys and before emojis were around, this is how the emoji of a kiss, this is what it looked like. This is what we used to do. And that is your kiss. So therefore, um, multiplication is the act that represents the action of kiss. So here's your little story. In order to find Anne Hathaway in the arithmetic sequence, you need to look for the first time winner who's going to be dancing and hugging. Nobel Prize winner who's currently cutting the carrot. And after he's done cutting the carrot, he kisses the distance. Now, the devil himself. My apologies. He doesn't kiss the distance. He kisses the devil himself. Now, Sn is a sum of nth terms. And I thought about a snowman. So in order for, to find a snowman, you are going to go into squeeze. So anytime you divide something, I want you to think of a squeeze. And whenever I have a large ratio, I always think about, think about it as a house, and this is like a basement, and this is like the attic of the house. So in the basement, we are going to have number two. And on the top, we are going to have our Nobel Prize winner, who is kissing and hugging two people the first prize winner, who is dancing with Anne Hathaway. And then he, he, he was dancing with them so hard, and he was kissing them, that they all broke in two parts. Now there's two of them. So that's your formula. Now I'm going to cover the formula, and I want you to try to recall that formula from memory. So in order to find Anne Hathaway, A-N, you're going to need the first prize winner, who's dancing and hugging, the Nobel Prize winner who is cutting the carrot, and after he's done cutting the carrot, so let the parentheses close, he is kissing the devil himself. So try to write that. And now for the second formula, which is the sum of nth terms, you are going to use a ratio. And what do you have in the basement? In the basement you have a two, and on the top you have the Nobel Prize winner who's kissing and hugging two people. He's kissing the first time winner who is dancing with Anne Hathaway. So your formula is a1, a sub 1 plus a sub n parentheses close. So now that story is going to continue for the geometric sequence 
And as you remember, everything that has a rabbit in it is going to be for the geometric sequence. Let me change the color just to make it more clear. A N and Hathaway, but for the geometric sequence, is going to have a rabbit in it, but it will also have the first time winner who is going to be kissing the rabbit. And the rabbit is going to jump because we also have exponents, and, ex and exponents is the action of jumping. So let's say you wanted to remember that the for in the formula that x was squared, it was raised to the second power, you could just think that x jumped and turned into a swan. So in, in this situation, r jumped and turned into a Nobel Prize winner who is cutting a carrot. So in order to find Anne Hathaway, we take the first time winner and he have him, we, we're trying to have him kiss the rabbit, but the rabbit doesn't want to be kissed. So he's jumping and he's jumping onto the Nobel Prize winner who is currently cutting, uh, car cutting a carrot. And now in order for us to find the sum of uh, nth terms, we're also going to have a ratio here. And here we're going to have an attic and the basement. And here, let's start with the basement first. In the basement, we're going to have a carrot, who's like a vicious, vicious carrot, very angry carrot, who is cutting the rabbit. Poor rabbit is not going to jump because he's in the basement. He knows nobody can help him. He's basically, he's feeling very um, phlegmatic and just basically doesn't move and doesn't jump. So the, there's no exponent here. And it's not an exponent zero, it's just exponent one, actually, but we don't put exponent one. Then what are you going to have at the top? You're going to have the first prize winner who is kissing and hugging the carrot, who's still a vicious carrot, who is cutting the rabbit. It's another rabbit. We have one at the top, we have one at the bottom. It's cutting a rabbit, but the rabbit is still having hope to escape, so he jumps, and he jumps onto the Nobel Prize winner. Here, he's not jumping to the Nobel Prize winner who's cutting, he is just jumping onto the Nobel Prize winner. By the time we're calculating the sum, the Nobel Prize winner is done cutting the, cutting the carrot. So here is your formula, a1 times parentheses 1 minus r to the nth power divided by 1 minus r. So I really hope this story has helped you. My encouragement to you is that you try to um, rewrite those formulas from memory. And let me just quickly show you an example where this knowledge can come in handy on your favorite test in the world, which is your ACT. So this prob problem is derived from one of the ACT um, uh, uh, tests, and I think that's the problem number 18. So it's not too difficult, but it's also not one of the first few problems. So what is the sum of the first 80 terms on the arithmetic sequence? One, two, three. So what sequence are we dealing with? The arithmetic one. So we're not going to deal with the one that has a rabbit on, in it. Great. So what is the what is what is it that they want? They're looking for the sum. Sum is the snowman. In order for us to find the snowman, we have a ratio. We have a two in the basement. And here we have the Nobel Prize winner who is kissing and hugging a one, the first first prize winner who is dancing with Anne Hathaway. But what do we have? Do we know the first one? Yes, we do know what a one is. A one is one. But what is a eighty? because we are looking for S80, right? So 80 is going to be here, and every, everywhere we have N in this formula, we're gonna have 80. A80 equals, hmm, we're gonna to have to use the AN formula. N Hathaway, in order for us to find N Hathaway in the arithmetic, we're going to use A1 plus N minus one, remember the Nobel Prize who's cutting the, Nobel Prize winner who's cutting the carrot, times the devil himself. What is the devil? The devil is the distance, so how, how much do we add to each new member in the list? We add one, so the distance is one. So A80, let's just go back here and let me just rewrite that. A80 equals one plus n minus one, 80 minus one times one. So A80 is going to equal to one plus 79, which is 80. A sub 80 equals to 80. Cool, so now we can calculate S of 80. It equals to 80, which is your n, times 1, which is your a1, plus 80, divided by 2. My friends, I've done my calculations, and it is 3,240. The answer is j.